Okay, isometric hip abduction. What I need is my band, which I'm gonna put just above the knee. And then I'm gonna use a rolled up yoga mat, and you could just use a pillow or something, just to put underneath the knees. Then I'm gonna lie flat on my back. What's important about this one is the feet. So I'm gonna squeeze here. So I'm gonna be pushing my heels together. So I'm pushing my heels together hard. And then with my knees, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push them out to the sides and then I'm gonna hold. So I'm pushing the heels in and the knees out. And I'm gonna hold for about 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, I'd relax them back in under control, relax the ankles, then squeeze the ankles and then push out into the band and hold for 30 seconds. You should feel it in your hips, okay? You can feel some discomfort, that's absolutely fine. Um, don't be put off by a little bit of pain, sort of three, four on the pain scale is fine, as long as it only lasts an hour or two after the exercise. If it lasts longer than that, you should cease the exercise. And that's it, isometric hip abduction.